Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing today? I hope that you're all doing amazing after this three day weekend that we all had. My name is Tracy and you are watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy as well as on Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges that will help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for that next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to figure out how much I need to save and budget for from this week's paycheck. So this is week five for May and then it's also week 22 for the year. So let's go ahead and dive on in. So the very first savings challenge I'm gonna be participating in is the 52 week reverse challenge where I am trying to save $1,378. We are on week 22, so since I am doing this savings challenge uh, the reverse way, this week I need to save $31. If you are saving the traditional way, because we are in week 22 for the year, you would save $22. Because I'm doing it reverse, this savings challenge tells me I need to save $31. Once I have my $31 saved, uh, at the end of the week with my uh, cash going into my stack with my cash going into my cash envelope yeah cash envelope binder <laughs> I will have a total of nine hundred and thirteen dollars saved so far for this year so that is really exciting so we are very very close to the middle of the year so we have like Four more weeks to go until we're halfway through the year, guys. And then we are on the down slope, getting closer to Christmas. <laughs> Can you believe we are almost halfway through this year? Insane. But uh, anyway, so yeah. So with this savings challenge, $31 with the 52-week reverse challenge. The next savings challenge that we have here is Paradise Island. And here is my little... Uh, chip right here. I don't think I'll, I mean, there could be a chance that I land there, but I have literally gone through this whole game and not, um, been able to use my little scratch off scratcher to scratch any of the little scratchers off. So I think what I'll probably do is I might, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like I need to play this again. So then I can scratch off these scratchers. So that's something that I need to decide after this week. So next month is a whole new month and we'll see what ends up coming up. But anyways, for this for this one, we are playing the Paradise Island Scratch Off Board Game Savings Challenge. And I'm going to roll one die. And so I have four spaces here to go. If I roll anything less than a four, of course, I am going to roll again because I want to finish this game off for this month. So let's go ahead and roll and see what we get. And we got five. So we end the game. Okay. <laughs> that is fantastic. Okay. So that is going to bring me right there because the last place I landed was here. So with that being said, I landed on this bike with a surfboard at the beach and that is a large image. And so because I landed on a large image, I had already pre-assigned that if I landed on a large image, I would pay or I would need to save $20. So in this case, that's how much we are going to save this week. So let me go ahead and write in my $20 and then Monday's date. And this was for week five. And so I have, I currently have $101 in my cash envelope plus 20 from today. So that will bring me up to $121 at the end of this week, completely saved using the Paradise Island scratch off board game savings challenge. So that is pretty exciting. So, I mean, this may look like a simple little board game and savings, but that is a lot of money, guys. That is a lot of money saved with one single savings challenge. So 
Um, I have all kinds of different themes in my Etsy shop. So if you like the scratch off theme type of board games, then I do have those available in my Etsy shop. And I also have a good handful for digital downloads that do not include the scratch off. So if you are into this type of savings, then definitely head over to my Etsy shop and then um, see which board games I have available in the different themes that you may like for your own savings challenge uh, journey. So uh, that's this one. Speaking of Etsy shop, let's go ahead and go to the Etsy sales by state savings challenge here. So as I went through all of the different sales in my Etsy shop um, from May 22nd through May 28th, which was last week, uh, unfortunately, I did not get any new sales for the first time in the states of Alaska, Hawaii, or South Dakota. And so since those are the last three states that I'm trying to save for, unfortunately, this week, I don't get to save $5 or more because no sales came in for the first time with those three states. So if you are from Alaska, Hawaii, or South Dakota, and you are looking for savings challenges to help you along the way with your savings journey, then head on over to Tracy Monster Savings and see the over 200 listings of what I have available over there. And uh, that would be awesome. Uh, also, again, if you are into board games, this is a really great opportunity for you to save um, using those and they're really super fun. So again, Alaska, Hawaii, and South Dakota is, um, those are the three states that I'm trying to fill that nobody has purchased in my Etsy shop so far this year of 2023. So if you are somebody that purchases from one of those three states, I will write your name down on the state that you're purchasing from and then I will need to save $5. Um, towards the savings challenge. So for this week, nothing saved for this week for this challenge. All right, the next savings challenge that we have here is Bunko Against Time. So we get to do a little bit of playing around here. So let's get these three dice. And I am on game four. So uh, yesterday, our Bunko Against Time did not happen with Mari. Mari had some things to do with her daughter. I'm, I don't want to get into the details because it's not my, it's not for me to tell you guys. Um, but she had some things to do. And then I felt that since Mari was busy with family stuff and it being the holiday, it was just best to be silent and uh, just kind of remember what the day is for. And so that's why I didn't do the Bunko Against Time even by myself yesterday going live because it just wasn't a day to do something like that in my personal opinion. And so uh, I do apologize that uh, it didn't happen yesterday, but uh, Mari and I have come together and we talked and we will for sure be doing it next week Monday so for all of you that have the Bunko Against Time um, game or I should say sheet and you are ready to play bun Bunko Against Time with us next week then definitely tune in and then we will be playing around next week so I hope that you can join us again it is it's going to be Monday at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Okay, so just uh, letting you know, hopefully you can join us because we have a lot of fun. So, but anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and I am on game four, round four, game four. So I am trying to roll fours on all three dice. So with that being said, let's go ahead and turn on our timer. So hey Siri, turn on two minute timer. Two minutes. All right. All right. Here we go. So we are rolling for fours. There's nothing there. Nothing there. And you want to try to roll as quickly as you can. There's one four there. So that means it's one tally. Nothing. Just keep on rolling. See how many fours you can get. If you get three fours, you get a bunko. If you get three of a kind, but they're not fours, then that is worth five points because it is still three of a kind. Okay. All right, okay, come on, bring those fours. I'm usually not too good on fours, I don't think. 
I'll have to look at that as soon as I'm done with this game. Because <laughs> I can't look at my stats on my sheet until I'm done playing. Otherwise, it throws me off. Because I'm trying to get my fours going here. All right, there's two right there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're getting closer to Bunkos. Getting closer. Okay, there's one right there. Perfect. So I have two minutes to get... Oh, I thought that was a Bunko. Darn it. I thought that was, I thought that totally was a Bunko. Did you? <laughs> I like totally hesitated there. Um, but uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yeah, I have. Oh, that's what I was going to say. I think uh, we, have, we have two minutes to get as many fours as you can possibly get. Okay, there's one. Or whatever uh, game you're on is what you're rolling for. So in this case, since I am on game four, that's what I'm rolling for are fours. I'm getting a lot of fives and sixes, though. Lots of fives and sixes. Oh, there we go. There we go. Three of a kind. That's five points. There we go. Yay! <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yay! Oh, wait. Was that fours? What was that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, I have fours on the mind. I don't think that those were fours. Uh, oh, my gosh. Okay, let me pay attention here because I think I'm messing myself up by talking and playing at the same time. Uh, okay. Uh, hey Siri, turn off timer. Okay, so I think I did it right. I think I did it right. Okay, so now, yay, I got three of a kind. Yes, no, those weren't fours now that I'm thinking about it. Now that I, now that I have time to think, those were not fours. So that was not a bunko. So yay, that is super exciting that I got a three of a kind. So let's go ahead and count all of my points and tallies, and then I will convert those to dollars. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and then 26. So this week I need to save $26. And is that the lowest? No, game two was the lowest I had ever had. So thank goodness I got that uh, three of a kind. Otherwise, this would have been a really low week. So what was I looking at? fours uh, fours oh wait oh my gosh look at on um, round one game four nineteen dollars and again that was that was fours so that was my lowest week was actually round one game four and it happens to be the time that i was rolling for so yeah four fours are not a good number for me apparently and I haven't gotten any Bunkos on fours either. So anyways, all right. So that's pretty exciting though. $26, it's not my lowest week, but it certainly could have been better. Let me circle my four there. All right, so uh, $26 using the Bunko Against Time Savings Challenge. And again, next week, stay tuned here on this channel at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time and make sure that you have your Bunko cards so then you can play along with us live. All right. Okay, next savings challenge. You know what? Let's go ahead and move these ones to the side and let's take care of these ones. So this one here is the cute little sloth savings challenge and it is a mini cash envelope set. There are a total of 25 cash envelopes because I made the cover and the tracker into a mini cash envelope as well just for some extra bills if i needed to um, stuff extra bills if i chose to i'm not going to for myself um but there are some of you that may need this um this extra envelope uh but there are 24 here in this set from 1 to 24. uh you can get these in my etsy shop that are already laminated um and if you are one that wants to create these yourself by laminating on your end, then I do have digital downloads so then you can uh, co like construct them yourself if you have a laminating machine. But anyways, okay, so let's go ahead and look at the tracker. And on the tracker, we need to still stuff cash envelope number nine. So that is this one here. Let me go ahead and show you what this one looks like. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. Sometimes when I make these videos, it's like really super like whitewashed up here. So I'm hoping that with this angle, I can't really tell until I get ready to edit the video. But hopefully there's not that whitewash going on up here. But this is envelope number nine right here. So really super cute. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully there's not too bad of glare. But anyway, so that's envelope number nine and the one that we will be stuffing this week. So, and that one again is the cute little sloth from my Etsy shop. 
The next savings challenge I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge from Tina from A Pink Cloth Life here on YouTube, Pink Cloth on uh, Etsy, and then she has a website called pinkcloth.co. Um, it's this $1,000 savings challenge little mini envelope, mini cash envelope binder. And uh, when you open it up here, there we go. Um, for this particular challenge, she has these squares, and each one of the squares is $40. So for this week, I am going to save $40, and I want to be able to get through this um, by the end of next month. So we'll be one week early finishing next week, or next month. So that's pretty exciting. I'll be able to finish this on week three of June. So yay. So for this week, it's going to be $40 with the $1,000 savings challenge. All right, let's go ahead and bring these guys back over here. Okay. So for this one, let's go ahead and count my change. This one is the save the change challenge. So let's go ahead and count and see how much we have here. All right. So did you guys have any plans yesterday? Did you do anything over the weekend with your family since it was a kind of like a three day holiday uh, weekend? Um, I'd love to know what you guys do when it, you have a three day holiday um, for this specific weekend. Do you, um, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many different things that people do. Um, do you go to like a grave site? Um, in memory of a soldier in your life or uh, do you have barbecues do you go to the beach a lot of people here they like to go to the river that's kind of like the the weekend that kicks off summer because a lot of our kids uh kind of um let's see they they finish up school and then it's kind of like their celebration of the kids starting their summer so yeah, there's so many different things that people do. So uh, what did you do for this three day week holiday? All right, so uh, let's see. So we have $2 here, then we have 75, 80, 90, a dollar. So that is $3 and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So $3 and 11 cents is going there. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring my change tray over so we can check and see if I need to roll anything for this week. It doesn't look like it. It's really super dusty. Okay, so we need, let's see, there's five there. So that one's filled. And then we need five more to go there. And then five more quarters. Oh, wow, look at there. I get to roll quarters. I didn't think I was... I didn't think I had that many quarters. I guess guess I do. All right, so we get to roll quarters this uh, this week. All right, and then we have a nickel there. Not enough to roll. I need four more nickels. Hopefully, I can get those by uh, next week. And then we have our dimes there. Not even, well, kind of close. And then for our pennies, not even close. <laughs> I still need a whole bunch more. Okay, so there's five more right there. Perfect. Okay, so we're halfway. We're halfway there on the pennies. Okay, great. So we get to roll quarters at the end of the week. How exciting. I love that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this around and write in our totals. So $3.11 there for week 22. All right, so that is for Save the Change. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead. I have been on a roll with this one. And so uh, this is another $1,000 savings challenge where each one of these cat paws with the Cats Rule the World savings challenge, each one of these cat paws are worth $20. And so I have for the last, I would probably say three weeks, I've been saving $40 at a time on this one. So I think that's what I'm gonna do again. I'm gonna going to save another $40. So I'm gonna write in $20 there and then $20 there. So I'm, I'm feeling comfortable with the $40 being saved on this savings challenge. So I've kind of been going back and forth. Do I want to save the extra, um, money over in the binder, the $1,000 binder. Um, 
but I'm feeling more comfortable with saving just 40 on this one instead of saving basically 80 on the other one. So um, I've been saving, I've been, I've been feeling comfortable on this one. All right, so then that wasn't gonna be a total of $40 on this. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at round it up. Round it up, actually what we need to do is we need to fill out our challenge tracker really quick. Okay, so we have, I'm gonna put um, 1,000 cats here and that one was $40, okay, that's that one. And then save the change, I'll put change here. And that was $3.11. And then we had the $1,000 binder from Tina. And that one was 40. And then we had the sloth, cute little sloth. That one was $9. And then we had Bunko Against Time. And that one was $26. And then Etsy Sales by State was zero. Didn't get anything there. All right, and then Paradise. Paradise Island. That one was $20. And then we have the 52 week reverse challenge. And I'll put 52 week. And this one was $31. Okay, as I was sitting here adding all of this up, um, I don't know what the total is going to be, but this is what I want to do, okay? And so I'd like you guys to hear me out on this one. If I get, once I add all of these up, I want to, if it comes, if it comes out to be $170 or less, I want to save another $20. And that one will go to Cats Rule the World. If I get more than $170, then I'm going to hold. I'm gonna hold, <laughs> I'm not gonna push. I'm, I'm gonna hold and uh, we'll see what happens in the following weeks to come. Um, but that's kind of what I am challenging myself for right now, just for this week is 170 less. I'm going to save an extra $20, go towards Cats Rule the World. If it is more than 170, then we are gonna hold, okay? So let's go ahead and add these challenges up. So we have forty dollars, three eleven, forty dollars, nine dollars, twenty six dollars, twenty dollars, thirty one dollars, thirty one. Oh, oh my gosh! Could I have not planned that any better, guys? Like seriously, if you can't see that on my calculator, this—that's <laughs> my total. A hundred and sixty nine dollars and eleven cents you guys i couldn't have thrown that number out any more perfect than what i did like honestly so guess what i have to save twenty dollars okay so let me just add this one more time so there's forty there's three dollars and eleven cents there's forty dollars there's nine dollars twenty six dollars twenty dollars and then $31, my gosh, mm, yes. I love it when a plan comes together. I cannot believe that. Guys, I couldn't have planned that any better. Okay, so we're gonna, sa we're gonna save an extra $20, okay? So adding an extra $20 on there, that is pretty dang exciting. That brings me up to $189.11. So we are now gonna cross that out and put $189.11. And I'm gonna write the extra um, 1,000 cats down here. And that one was an extra $20. Okay, now the total that I have here is $189.11, which now brings me up to round it up 
with rounded up, because we are at $189.11, I want to round it up to the highest $10. Okay, so that will bring me up to $190.11. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to get my $190.11 subtract it from the $189.11. That's only a $1 difference, okay? So that is going to be, $1 is going to be saved for the Rounded Up Savings Challenge. Hopefully that makes sense to, uh, to all of you who are watching for the first time or that are new to these savings challenges. So basically what I did was I added all of those amounts up, came up with my total, which was $189.11. With this specific challenge, I rounded up to the highest $10, in which a dollar was the difference from $190. So that's how the savings challenge works. So um, I need to put, I'm going to put round it up here, and that was $1. So when I add all of these amounts up, including my rounded up, it'll be 11. So again, $40, $3.11, $40, $9, $26, $20, $31, $20, $20 and then $1, $190.11. Ah, I cannot believe how close I was. I'm so excited about that. I I love that. 190 is is a lot. <laughs> For us in my household but that is gonna that gives me the extra added little push on top of the rounded up so um this is this is awesome this is great i love it okay so now that i have my total of 190 dollars and 11 cents for week five of may i now get that amount and i need to carry that over to this savings tracker right here and again, week five for May, I'm going to write that total down, 190 and 11 cents. At the end of this week, once I have my cash in my cash envelope uh, binders and envelopes, I will add all of those amounts up and then that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire month of May. Once I have that total down here, then I will then again carry that total over to this savings tracker and I will write that amount here in the month of May. I will do that every single week. I will do that every single month and this tracker will help me to keep track of how much I'm saving every single month. So um, this gives me a visual of how much I'm saving so far for the year. So once I'm uh, done filling in these uh, months here at the very end of the year, I will add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2023. So this is a really great way for you to visualize how much you are saving along the way. So this one gives you a visual of how much you are saving so far for the year by a monthly type view. This one here is your monthly that gives you your weekly view. And then you have this one, which is your weekly view with the breakdown of the of the uh, challenges that you participate in every single week. So anyways, um, if you enjoy these savings challenges that I've participated in t uh, this week, then um, there are a lot more over in my Etsy shop. Go ahead over to Tracy Monster Savings and uh, you can see just everything that I have available for you. Uh, if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me make sure that this is still recording because somebody just sent me a text. <laughs> if you like this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you like the content on this channel, then don't forget to uh, subscribe and click that notification bell. That way is whenever a new video goes up, then you'll be given a notification. And uh, so, yeah. I hope that you guys did enjoy this video today. I look forward again. Again, remember that uh, next week, Monday at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, we are going to be playing Bunko Against Time. So if you don't have this and you would like to play along with us, uh, come on over to the live chat and we can all play together. Mari and I will be going live and we would love to have you there. So anyways, everybody, thank you so much for being here all the way to the end. Until next time, stay safe out there, guys. It is a crazy, crazy world out there. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>